Hi, this is Scott Schmier from Prometheus Training, and today I thought I'd share a quick Articulate Storyline tutorial on one way to create a type of slide we've been seeing a lot of lately, and that's an acknowledgments or a thank you slide. The purpose of this slide is to give recognition to individuals who in some way contributed their time and expertise to the module's content. Now this slide can be located near the very beginning or the very end of your module, but more often we tend to make it accessible from a tab at the top of the screen. So let's look at our sample module's design and then create the slide. This module's design has a simple purple wedge shape that's semi-transparent towards the top that animates onto the title slide. And then a small part of it is repeated on the content pages to tie the module together graphically. Knowing that, let's jump in and create a new slide based on our layout. I'll title this slide Acknowledgements and add some thank you text and instructions at the top. Next, I'm going to import a series of images of this module's group of contributors and then size and arrange them on the slide along with their names. I'll speed this part up so you don't have to watch me fiddle with the placement. Now that that's set, we want the user to be able to select any photo of a contributor and learn a little bit more about them. So I'll create a new layer and give it the name of one of my contributors. I'm going to reuse this wedge shape graphic I've created for the module as the background for my layer. I'll place the photo for this person a bit larger and a bit off the edge of the screen and I'll give it a shadow. Then I'll add some text info about this person, and finally a close button that will hide the layer. Since I want this layer to animate onto the screen, I'm going to add a fly-on animation to the background image. Next, I'll make the photo appear at 0.75 seconds in the timeline, and also add a fly-on animation to it. And lastly, I'll move the text and close button to appear another 0.75 seconds out or so, and also add a fade in animation on those. Let's add a hide layer trigger to our close button so it will hide this layer. And the last thing I'll do on the layer is change its properties so that a user doesn't accidentally click on a base layer item that peeks out from behind our layer background here. Back on our base layer, I'll add a show layer action to the photo of Bruce. Let's preview the slide to see how it's working. Now that I know it's working the way I want, I can go ahead and duplicate the layer I created seven more times, one for each of my contributors, swapping out the photo and text to match. And I'll add a trigger to each photo so it pops up the appropriate layer. I'll jump ahead here so that's done, and let's preview the slide again. It looks like the slide is now working the way we want. The last thing we're going to do is make this slide available from a tab at the top of the screen. Let's exit the preview and go to our player properties. I'll add a new tab to the top bar right section. Let's title it Acknowledgements and set the trigger to open the correct slide. and then move it so it appears right after the About tab. Now let's preview the entire project. When we click the Acknowledgements tab, our new slide will pop up. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you want to see more or have a question, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.